Hey guys, welcome to Cyber Platter. This is a full course on Microsoft Sentinel. In this chapter, we will discuss Microsoft Sentinel watch lists. Before we begin, if you have missed any previous chapters, you can find the links and the full playlist in the description box below. What are Microsoft Sentinel watch lists? So these are a powerful tool that helps security teams to organize and manage important data. Important data such as IP addresses, domains, user accounts and device names. So these lists assist in detecting threats, investigating security incidents and responding effectively. So by using this watch list, right, analysts can quickly filter information, correlate alerts and enhance their threat, hunti threat hunting processes and then finally strengthening security operations. Watch lists in Microsoft Sentinel allow organizations to bring in external data and compare this data with security events within their Sentinel environment. Like for example, a watch list might contain high value assets, recently terminated employees or service accounts. These lists can be used in searches, detection rules, analytics rules, threat hunting activities and automated response playbooks. Watch lists are stored within Sentinel as name value pairs. Watch lists are designed for fast query performance and low latency. This ensures quick access to critical security data. Now let's see when to use watch lists. First end rapid threat investigation and response. Security teams can quickly import important data from CVS files and use them in alert rules, hunting queries, workbooks and notebooks to detect and respond to threats more efficiently. So important data such as IP addresses or file hashes. For example, a company identifies a list of malicious IPs from an external threat intelligence feed. By adding these IPs to a watch list, Sentinel can automatically flag any network traffic from these sources for further investigation. Next use case is to manage business data. Organizations can import data like lists of privileged users or former employees to track potential risks. This allows for the creation of allow lists and block lists to control access and detect unauthorized login attempts. For example, a company creates a watch list of employees who recently left the organization. If any of these accounts show activity in security logs, Sentinel triggers an alert to investigate potential unauthorized access. The next use case is to reduce alert fatigue. By creating allow lists, security teams can suppress unnecessary alerts from trusted users or known safe activities. So this prevents security teams from being overwhelmed by false positives and allows them to focus on real threats. For example, a security team notices that their network scanning tool frequently triggers alerts. They add the tool's IP address to a watch list and hence preventing unnecessary alerts while still monitoring real threats. Next use case is to enhance event data. Watch lists provide valuable context by enriching security event logs with external data sources. And this helps security analysts better understand potential threats and take appropriate action. For example, a watch list of known phishing domains is used to cross-check URLs found in company emails. If a match is detected, Sentinel automatically flags the email as a potential phishing attempt. So these are some of the key use cases of when to use watch lists. Now let's go to the Azure portal and see how to create them. In Sentinel, go to configuration and then watch list. Click new. I will add the name as internal scanner IP addresses. And you can add a description. And then there is alias and alias is a unique identifier assigned to a watch list column while creating the watch list. So it allows security analysts to reference specific columns easily when uh, writing queries in KQL. I will just say scanner IPs and then next 
The next one is source type, local file or Azure storage. I'll select a local file here and then the file, ta file type is supposed to be CSV. This is number of lines before uh, row with headings. I will enter zero, then upload the file that you have. I created this file with example IP addresses and I uploaded it here, drag and drop it or you can browse for files. And then you select the search key. Search key in Microsoft Sentinel watch list is the column that you will be using frequently for searching, filtering and joining with other data in Sentinel. So this acts as the primary key for referencing the watch list and queries. So in this example, I will select IP address column as the search key. This is the first column and this uniquely identifies each row and then say create next create again. And it says you successfully created internal scanner IPs watch list. Let me refresh the page and here is the internal IPs watch list. If I expand this show panel, it says it was created by whom, when it was last updated, search keys, IP address. You can view and log. So if I click view and logs, it takes some time to reflect. I'll select KQL mode here. This is the query that is getting run that is get watch list scanners IPs. It will list the IPs that we just created for this watch list, but it's going to take some time to reflect here. For now, let me close this and go back to the watch list. And then again, show panel. I can also update this watch list, either edit watch list items or bulk update. So if I click edit watch list items, it will let me add new uh, rows or you can also delete them. If I select one of these IP addresses, I can either delete them or I can add new ones with the new button. So let me close this. And then there was bulk update option as well. If I go to bulk update, I can upload a file again. So it also gives me a message saying the updated watch list data will be appended to the existing list of items. Items with same properties will be deduplicated. Let me close it. Now let me see if we can see it in the logs. If we go to view and logs and then select KQL mode. So this is how it shows. When was it last updated? ID, search key description, IP address and the threat level. So you are using this query, get watch and the scanner IPs. This is the alias of that watch list. And if you want to see all the aliases of watch lists, you can just say get watch list alias and run. There's only one that I've created and it comes up here, scanner IPs. Now let's see how to use watch lists in analytic rules. So if you go to configuration and then analytics or either you can go to content hub and search for high count and then content type. I'm going to select only analytics rules and then select high counts of connections by client IP on many ports. Let's say install. And then it says description identifies when 30 or more ports are used for a given client IP in 10 minutes occurring on the IIS server. And now the installation is successful. Then let's say create rule. And this is the rule query here. Let me close this and then go to configuration analytics. And if you see in the rule templates, this rule must be there. I'm going to right click and say create rule and then go to set logic and let me expand this rule query. So we just need to add this line where get watch list scanner IPs is the function that retrieves the contents of a watch list named scanner IPs and then project IP address. The project operator is used to select specific columns from the watch list. And in this case, it extracts only the IP address column from the watch list and it filters out unnecessary data. And then there is let watch list. And then there is let watch list. 
This let statement creates a temporary variable called watch list that stores the extracted IP addresses. And this variable can now be used in other queries to compare, filter or join with other security logs. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. I just changed the product project IP address to project IP space address because that is how I have given it in my watch list. Just have to go automated, review, create, and it is validating the fields. Now it says validation passed and you can save the analytics role. And in the active rules, you can see that it is already saved. And that's it about watch list guys. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. That helps us a lot. I will see you in the next chapter on another topic on Microsoft Sentinel. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.